Welcome everyone. This is our ASPLOS talk for orchestrated trios, a compiler method for efficient communication in quantum programs with 3-qubit gates, specifically the 3-qubit Toffoli gate. I'm Casey Duckering. This is work with Jonathan Baker, Andrew Lidikin, and Fred Chong. So quantum programs are made of um, quantum gates, in a, made up of making up a quantum circuit, um, and Toffoli gates are a common primitive gate used in many algorithms where these qubits are the inputs, and then this is the Toffoli gate. So if the two inputs are one, then it will flip the output qubit, resulting in an AND operation. However, most hardware cannot directly implement this sort of gate, so we decompose it into arbitrary one qubit gates and two qubit CNOT gates. Um, and then typical compilation will um, determine where on an actual piece of hardware these gates get implemented where the circles are qubits and the lines are interconnects that allow CNOT gates. So if we have the three qubits on these red um, circles, then we have to add swap gates for communication to move them next to each other and perform each of the CNOTs in order. And this can result in many extra CNOTs because of the lack of planning due to the heuristics used for these um, routing algorithms. So in this work, we propose um, stopping at the Toffoli intermediate in instruction level, doing routing at this higher level to reduce the number of swaps and use better heuristics, and then um, afterwards decomposing into the hardware gates we can actually run, um, which will give us more efficient um, implementations as well. So just to give an overview of typical compilation method, we start with an input program, which is a hierarchical um, definition of a program with blocks um, and repetitions potentially. Um, and then we break, unflatten that whole thing down into one and two qubit gates, and then route by adding swaps for communication, and then turn that into a schedule of analog pulses that get um, transmitted to the qubits when you actually execute the circuit. So now we propose modifying this structure by splitting this decomposed pass at the beginning into two passes. The first one where we unroll most of the way but stop at this intermediate instruction level of Toffoli's. Then we do the normal routing but the routing can be smarter since it has a little bit more knowledge of the structure of the program. And then we can decompose um, the final step but with the knowledge of exactly which hardware qubits these gates will be executed on and so we can do better decompositions. And then, of course, you get the same schedule at the end that um, actually runs your circuit. So the way we do this architecture tuned in the second decompose pass is here's the typical 6 CNOT version, and you can see that it needs a CNOT between every pair of these three qubits. So if you have hardware that supports CNOTs between every pair of qubits, then you can execute it just fine, and you get a, three, a 6 CNOT Toffoli. However, if you have a more sparse connectivity hardware that only supports two of the three connections after you have routed it, then you have to actually add swaps here and here in your circuit, which correspond to six extra CNOTs. So that you have 12 CNOTs total if you um, don't have that extra connection. So instead, we can actually, there's actually multiple decompositions of this Toffoli gate. This is the lesser known 8 CNOT Toffoli gate. Um, which only needs two of the connections and saves on those swap gates for a total of eight instead of 12. And check out our full length talk and or our paper to see how we evaluate this on IBM quantum devices and larger benchmarks and simulation. So in conclusion, we modified the pass structure by splitting it into two, the decomposed step into two pieces. Um, and this allows routing heuristics to be more effective. And then the second piece now has information from the routing pass, since it's afterwards, and can now give you better decompositions with zero intermediate communication um, swaps. And all of these together improve program success rate. So these, this method is compatible with other um, noise-aware compiler methods that look at the variations of your hardware and can choose um, circuits based on noise, and this will improve the overall success rate. And all of this motivates um, more of a hierarchical design by algorithm designers where currently they hand optimize at the lowest gate level possible 
but we show that by have allowing a little bit more of that intermediate instruction level, compiler can actually do a better job at compiling for a variety of architectures than just one hand optimized architecture. Thank you for watching, and we'll take any questions at the Ask Plus Q&A session. Thanks.